Once again, I'm at my home away from home here at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. We got Erica, Amy, and Executive Director David Hitsey. Today we're going to be doing something pretty cool. Um, we're actually going to be releasing birds, uh, birds of prey that have been rehabilitated. So don't go anywhere because we're going to do some fun humanitarian work today, are we? Yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> portion of my life has been all about action, which still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Tenor. Alright Dave, um, sorry I almost knocked you out there. there you so We're now heading into the flight cage, so come on in. So in here we're going to have, uh, what can we expect to see? we got birds of prey, so we're going to have some vultures, car cars, hawks, yeah, and we're, eagles. We're actually going to be walking through a couple of different flight cages as we go through here. It's kind of a maze. Quite exciting. What are some of the things when we get in there, um, you know, I don't want to actually re-injure a bird trying to capture it. So what do you have to try and do when you are trying to restrain one of these animals? The red-shouldered hawks are the noisy ones. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to assess the birds that are in there. We're going to watch their flight. Those that are now have, have good, perfect flight, those are the ones that we're going to be capturing up and releasing today. Okay. Good deal. Okay. Whoa, I almost assessed, he almost assessed me. Now, a couple of things that you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna watch flight. Okay. okay. And you will see birds that, that are really good. They'll circle around. Those are the birds that are ready to go, okay? Some of these, some of these birds are still questionable. We don't know whether they're gonna be releasable. So you're looking for good, strong flight. You're looking for, for them being able to circle around very, very easily. Okay. So let's go ahead, we'll, we'll, we'll get some of the movement. Sure. Okay, you got one. Yeah, not yet. No? Not yet. He's thinking about it, but he's he's smuggled in. Wow. Okay, now how are you gonna restrain him? Okay. The most dangerous part of the bird happens to be their feet. Okay. Their talons can grab and, and, and their claws can go right into you. So you wanna work our way around so we can secure the feet. Yep, once we have the feet secured, then we know we've got the bird. And there we go. Oh, okay. all right. Um, and this is an immature red-shouldered hawk. Real quickly, real quickly, we'll just, we'll assess, make sure that all the feathers are in good shape. Feathers look good. Bird looks good. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass this off to Erica. Erica's gonna go put it in cage, and we're just gonna continue right along. Okay, fantastic. So, I'm now gonna assess some bird's flight. Let's make the move. Go, guys. There you go. I like, I think this guy was looking pretty good up here. First one. Let's see. Right? Look at that, turning right around, not a yeah, problem. You know, but there's something I want you to notice. Look notice at the, the tail. The, the, the tail okay. doesn't look good. Yeah. Okay, sometimes during the initial rehabilitation phase where they're confined, um, their feathers may break. Okay. So sometimes we have to wait a little while for those feathers to, to roll Scroll out. Um, so I would not choose that one. Now, okay. the one. now the one next to it has got a good possibility. Um, this one right here that just flew. Um, wait, wait, what about this guy? Okay. This guy right here? All right, test flight, let's see. There he goes. Up, oh, back down. Oh, yeah. You, oh, well. Dog fighting. All right, now, see. You want to go right over him, okay? Right over him. Right over him. I don't want to, like, squish down on him. Hold on. Okay. Go right over him. All right. Okay. And then, now we just onto the ground immediately. Let him do his thing. Hold on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nice and gently. We're gonna grab these. Now we got this. Right. Now, what don't, about the? Don't, don't let go until I tell you. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure that I've got the feet before you go. 
Okay, I'm good. You good? Yep, yeah, I'm good. All right, dude, we caught ourselves a little red shoulder now. A couple of think? other things we want to look at. We want to look at weight. Okay. Okay. Uh, this bird is an absolute pig. <laughs> he looks pretty uh, good. The, the, you, you can feel he's got very, very good weight. Nice. Okay. Good muscle. So pain. we want to make sure that everything that we're letting go today is in is in top shape. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. And we'll do the same thing. We'll give this one over to Erica. Cool, man. We got uh, two down. A few more to go, but this is kind of work I enjoy. Let's see how good it does it. All the birds in the rehabilitation cage here appear to have put on some good healthy weight. The key for us is to be fast, get in and out as quickly as possible, so that we're not forcing the birds to crash into the walls. The good news is, birds of prey are pretty hardy since they are hunters, you know, they have to deal with many stresses that come along with doing that. These birds are sometimes confused with the widespread red-tailed hawk. That species is larger and bulkier, with their namesake reddish tail. These red-shouldered hawks have tails that are marked with narrow white bars. I want to keep them from struggling with his wings in the net as much as possible. Do you want to get his feet for me? Yeah, have very, very good weight. You might also notice that these red-shouldered hawks are all fairly diverse in terms of color. He's looking pretty good. Their red shoulders are visible when they are perched. The real difference of consequence when observing these birds is the size. The smaller ones are males, and the larger ones are the females. I'm stuck on this thing. Alright, I'm going to let him jump over there. Perfect. Perfect. So I like to, is it okay if I grab from out here? And then yeah, kind of you, can, you, can, you can secure and then figure out where, where your opening is, but just make sure that you've got those feet secure. Gotcha, I got it. Because it's like a vice grip, once it locks, it's hard to get them off of there. Gotcha. That's my good thumb. Oh, his little beak. Now, what makes a bird of prey bird of prey? Um, the, the fact that they actually have powerful talons. Uh, they use their talons mostly to be able to capture their food. Okay. Um, they are predatory. They, they capture other animals for their food. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they don't always eat the same type of, uh, of food. They eat a variety of different things. Cool. They got the sharp curved beak which they use to tear apart their, their meat. Um, in this particular type of, of, of bird, which is a red-shouldered hawk, it is a broad-winged hawk. Um, there is a species called a broad-winged, but, but um, Budios have broad wings, um, shorter tails. Uh, they they are not very maneuverable when they go to hunt, so they usually hunt out in the open gotcha. looking for, for their prey. So this is a very common bird that you would see perched on a, on a tree or something like that looking for food. Well, they have it. So they're kind of like uh, when they designed fighters, they were inspired by the body forms of these birds here and the, the kind of habitats they hunt in. So uh, now we've got the birds we want to release. Let's get out out there into the field and release them, man. Happy Sounds moment. Good. Let's do it. All right, so we're out here uh, in the far west of Jupiter in the nice wild area, and uh, we're going to send them off. So this is the first uh, first red shoulder we're going to release. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Are one, you ready? One, two, three. Be ready. One, better two, fly. three. You ready? Born free. <laughs> Okay, all right, so this guy, we're just gonna let hop on out of this enclosure, of this little carry case, huh? Yep, we'll see. Right. Hopefully he'll do it. Hopefully he'll come out. He's back out, so he's... Uh -huh. it's, it's fairly um, easy to release him here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For a while, boy. Look at that. That's awesome, man. Yeah, so there's a few wild birds out here already. All right, let's fire him out, dude. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do another one. All right, I'm here stuck. he comes. Here he comes. Find the door. <laughs> here he goes. That's it, man. It's so cool. They just hit it, and they all seem to be going in the same direction, man. And it's so funny because there's a group of uh, birds that these are all wild birds, but these are birds that obviously were in this territory. Let me ask you this: Will these animals then disperse? Yeah, everybody will start to, to to disperse. But it was kind of funny. I mean, you know, the the bird that we first let go didn't make a peep. But these other birds came, you could hear them from way in the distance, and they came rushing in to see what was going on. That's crazy. Like Let's who's in their territory. Hey, would you do me a favor? 
can I can I do the hold and release you thing? Want to do the hold and yeah, release? I want to do a hold and release thing. Here, let's might as well go for everything. You know what I mean? This is kind of cool, you know. One for just a second. Yeah, no worries. Sweet. Here we go. Here. Okay. All right. So, so I'm gonna. We should do it together. What? Both oh, really? Yes. I think we should. We should hold together. Together. No, together. I think you should each take a bird. We have two okay. birds oh. left. Two okay. birds. Yeah. Yes, let's do it. I think okay. it's a great like funny. male bonding. Oh yeah, this is you David. Know. This is my buddy. He's, I, I, he's my heterosexual life partner. Right, Dave? <laughs> wow. Wow. What? Well, you know, it's cool. Comfortable with my masculinity. I just got bit. Did you? Yes. Bit. You gonna get a rabid? Fix bird them, rabies? Fix them. There's no such thing as rabies and birds, right? No, you're yeah. good. No uh, avian <coughs> flu that way. No either. avian flu. Everybody thinks they're gonna get avian flu if they get bit by a bird. No, oh, good Unless. lord. Wow, you do have a biter. I know. He's. I'm he's glad you got that one. Know. It would ruin this whole moment. Okay. All right. Which way we want to go? Let's, I don't let's know. try something different. They've all been going that way. Let's go this way. Okay, Icarus, don't fly too close to the sun. Ready? Yeah, One, I'm ready. One, two, two, three. <sighs> they grow up so fast, you know, Dave. It's funny. <laughs> That is the only one, that's the only one that went in a different direction. There goes one. There he goes, he's, he's pinning it. There. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. David, again, another fun day at the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. If you want to help them out, they're a nonprofit. Go to bushwildlife.org. Thank you, Erica and Amy. And thank you to you and the beautiful birds. Get out of here. And the birds, man. We'll see you later. I'm for the birds. Later. <laughs>